Rebecca, don't come in. I'm sleeping. I'm sorry. I just wanted you to know that I was here. Julia? <laughs> I can't see you. I know. May I? It's been a long time. You're still the same. Just about. You're still as beautiful as ever. I'm sorry, Julia. Uh, is it okay for Lionel to be here? No, it is absolutely not. Lionel, get out of here! Uh, Augusta, uh, how come your sister gets a special treatment after all these years? Because I love my sister, Lionel. Just get out. Get him out, Julia. I think you should leave, Lionel. Oh? You've been here two minutes and you're giving me orders. I used to give you lollipops. Well, I've grown up now and I'm asking you to leave because you're upsetting my sister. I'm her husband. I refuse. Well, I'm her sister and I'm protecting her. And if it means getting a restraining order against you, I will do that. On what ground? Try harassment and jeopardizing her health. Little pudgy girl grows into F. Lee Bailey. Actually, I have quite a reputation back in Phoenix. Oh, do you? And you think you're going to use your legal clout on me, huh? Don't mess with me, Lionel. I will have you in court every day. I will have you so bogged down with legal proceedings that you won't even have time to dust your artifacts. And if that doesn't work, I'll arm wrestle you. And I'll win. <laughs> That's my baby sister. I think you would. Oh. Oh, my baby sister. You take me home. Yes, I'll take you home, as long as the doctors say that it's okay. Of course he says it's okay. I'm not escaping. Julia, it's only a temporary condition. They said I'll get my sight back in at least eight weeks or so. Eight weeks? Ah, uh, you're feeling sorry for me, I can tell. Well, of course I'm feeling sorry for you. Well, don't. What would you like me to do, throw a party? This is upsetting. Well, just because it's, it's, it's not anything permanent. It's temporary. There's no reason to get morose about it. It's some condition I'll just have to live with. Actually, I, I'm lucky. I understand the difficult time that you're having. But after all, we do have a business to run. Our mattresses don't sell themselves, you know. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Zimmerman, um... Look, I, I will report to work when my wife is well, or at least I know she's on the road to recovery, okay? As you wish, Mr. Lockridge. But I warn you, there may not be a job for you to report to if you wait too long. Julia, what's wrong? Nothing, Lionel. Oh, you look upset. Huh? It's, it's nothing, really. Just, just drop it, okay? Augusta is, is being released later this afternoon, and then she'd like me to stick around and make sure that everything's okay. Oh, oh that's okay. I, I can take care of things here. No, Lionel, she doesn't want you to take care of things. She'd like me to do that. Well, Julia, it's my place to do things like that. I mean, I don't quite understand what you're doing here anyway. There's no great mystery to that. She called me and asked me to come here. Well, it doesn't make any sense. I'm her sister. Two sisters who haven't seen each other for 10 years, right? We have our differences. That must have been some different. Yeah. Well, Augusta certainly never talked about it. Look, if you're fishing, forget it, No, right? no, I'm, I'm not fishing. I, I don't want to get involved in family quarrels. But I am concerned about how Augusta is. Well, I know she is feeling much better. She's very happy to be going home. I can tell you that much, all right? Well, I, I, what about her eyes? I mean, how are they? She's going to have to wear dark glasses for a while. Her eyes are just a, a little weak still. These corneal abrasions, or whatever they are? I see. Well, I'm glad she's able to go home. I guess that means that I, I can take care of my own career. I kind of let it slip since I've been waiting to find out about Augusta. 
Your career? Yeah. Which which one? Is that world traveler or skirt chaser? I always get the two of them confused. You don't have to be condescending to me, I'm involved in something that um, entails a great deal of responsibility. I, I'm not at liberty to say what it is. I can only say that, oh, it involves most of humankind and uh, occupies at least a third of its day. Sounds fascinating. It is. Yes, it really is. Does it have something to do with the government? Uh, well, as I say, I can't really talk about it, but uh, I imagine we'll be seeing you again if you're going to be around. OK, just walk straight ahead. Oops. Oh, sorry. It's sorry. All right. Here, let me help My you. My roof. I should have known it was there. Funny how you take things for granted. OK, why don't you just sit right over here like I... that, and I will move some of these things. You mean sort of stay out of your way, huh? Do you want me to unpack? No, don't bother. There's nothing in there that I need. Well, isn't this going to be fun? You'll get used to it, I promise. No, I won't. I don't want to. OK, fine. Then you won't get used to it. Well, I can't. I can't read. I can't look out of the garden. I can't watch television. I, I can't even make phone calls. Being blind isn't all it's cracked up to be. Glad to see you haven't lost your sense of humor. Well, I'm trying to keep it. It'll pass, Augusta. What I if promise. it doesn't? What if I stay like this? It will. The doctors promised me it would be eight weeks or so. It's only been a couple of days, and I can't stand it. God, this is going to be a long eight weeks. <laughs> oh, well, it's easy for you to say. You can just sit there and be smug and brave. You don't have any disabilities. Oh, yeah? And if you think you're easy to overcome, you're mistaken. Thanks a lot. Well, I, I could do macrame. I could sew. I could knit. If only I knew how. That sounds like a very nice idea. Now you have plenty of time to learn. I'm going to go get us some tea. Do you want something to eat? A, a sandwich, maybe a seven-course meal? No, thank you. I'll just sit here and wait patiently. I have always depended on the kindness of sisters. Oh, well, you're in luck, because I'm kind and I'm your sister. Don't be long. I won't. I'll be downstairs, and if you need me, just yell bloody murder, and I'll come run. No, I'm all right. I'm fine. Okay, Big Bear, do your stuff. Charm her. I can't seem to pull it off, so I'm counting on you. Okay. Sam! those glasses. Oops, there they are. God, I can't stand this. Julia, what are you doing? I have some tea for you. I didn't want any tea. I feel so helpless. How will I know what time it is or who's in the room with me? How am I going to sleep? Worst of all, how am I going to know when I wake up? Can't you distinguish light from dark? No, it's, it's, there's nothing. It's, it's all black and empty. It's like nothing. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, it'll be OK. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm, I, I got a surprise for you. What? Um, it's a giant teddy bear. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, wish I could see him. Well, why don't you hug him instead? That's nice. It's wonderful. Who gave it to me? The card said it's from Lionel. But I don't want it. <laughs> oh, and he's so cute. You sure? He's wow. very expensive. Oh, well, wait a minute. I think it's mink. 
<laughs> I don't know if I were you, I'd keep it. It's very soft. Maybe I'll sleep with it. At least he won't snore or mumble in his sleep. Or groan thinking about other women. <laughs>